Warning, warning, everything I say is fucking crazy and should not be reinterpreted or reenacted because you will be either shot or NDAA'd. Warning. Warning, warning, everything I say is fucking crazy and should not be reinterpreted or reenacted because you will be either shot or NDAA'd. Warning. Show. This is a special broadcast with a special guest, none other than legendary esoteric researcher and scholar, my good friend Jordan Maxwell. Hello, Jordan. How are you? Well, I think okay, and we'll find out soon enough. Great. It's <coughs> it's great to have you on. You know, you you are like literally like my mentor. You know, I give you so much credit. You know, uh, for imparting just so so much wisdom. Onto well, me and the audience. It's I amazing. Thank you and uh, I think you need you have to give me credit because the bank won't. So. <laughs> That's good. So I thank you for thank you for having me on and uh, always a pleasure. And uh, there's so many things to talk about. One thing I'm not interested really to talk about is politics. I don't um, blame you. I think the only thing I would say in relation to the modern day, because I'm really far more interested in the uh, prehistoric and ancient world and all of the phenomenal great stuff that's been hidden from us for you know for so long. <clears throat> that's where my real love is, is in the right. occult or hidden knowledge that's been hidden for you know thousands of years and how it affects us today. But in relation to what's going on today, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm apolitical. I don't care about politics. I say the same but, thing. Yeah, but having said that, I do think it is at least important enough to clarify a couple of things that's going on in the world for people. <clears throat> if you, uh, you know, if you go to the web, or go to the library, or just go on the web, and type in uh, People's Democratic Republic of, People's Democratic Republic of, and it will pop up all kinds of communist countries around the world that have that as their official title. The official, actually, the official title for Cuba is the People's Democratic Republic of Cuba. The actual uh, uh, legal and lawful definition uh, for the title of North Korea is the People's Democratic Republic of North Korea. The People's Democratic Republic of China. The People's Democratic Republic of Yemen. The People's Democratic Republic of Sudan. The People's Democratic Republic of this. The People's Democratic Republic of that. Everywhere you look, type it in on the web, People's Democratic Republic of. 
and it will show you all the countries around the world that actually start with that title, the People's Democratic Republic of. <clears throat> and each one of those countries you will see is a communist, Marxist-Leninist, Soviet communist country. Right. So what I am saying is that today, when you are, when you are listening to the news and you hear someone who is referred to in America as a Democrat, understand that the word Democrat simply means old school uh, Soviet Marxist Leninism. That's what the word Democrat mean. Absolutely. And so therefore, when you hear about the Democratic Party, again, that's what China is called, the People's Democratic Republic. Well, that's what we are called. The United States is spreading democracy. Democracy is Marxist, Leninist, Communism. And you see how well it worked in, uh, in Russia Oh, yeah, it worked very well. Well, that's why they decided, that's why Obama decided to institute the great system of Marxist-Leninist communism in America because it worked so well in Russia that the people of Russia were overjoyed with uh, no food in the stores, with, uh, with the gulags and the prisons, and the wow. concentration camps and the murder of hundreds of thousands of people with the tyranny and the fear of the uh, uh, of government uh, that worked so well that Obama has decided to bring that shit to America. And so today we have something called the Democratic Party. Just remember... The very word democratic comes from a Greek word, demos. D-E-M-O-S or D-E-M-O. Demo. Sounds like demons. Well, that's, that's just a real close. Maybe, that, <laughs> maybe that's why Obama was smelling himself to see if he smelled like sulfur the other day. <laughs> you so, know? in my opinion, uh, what we have today in America is a Marxist, Leninist, Soviet old world Soviet communist system. And I can say that with authority because all you have to do to satisfy yourself of the veracity of what I just said is look at the words that are being used. Look at the symbols that are being used. Look at the concepts that are being expressed. Look Absolutely. at the picture and look at the way the Soviet Union ran. Look at the words the Soviet communist government. Look at the words they used. Oh, look Jordan, the they, they, used. they used the very same KGB-style blackmail tactics this Obama administration does. I know. The same identical words, terms, symbols. Same thing. The same identical everything as the Soviet Marxist-Leninist, Soviet communist country, the whole damn country. And so nobody seems to have done their homework. Very few people have ever really gone to school to learn how to read. That's true. And so therefore, you know, this kind of atrocity can go on in America and uh, nobody seems to know, like George Carlin said, nobody seems to know Nobody seems to care. And like the old song many years ago, nobody's <laughs> interested in learning but the teacher. Well, and so I've been trying to explain to people that the word democracy right. means communism. Now let me explain why. Because the Greek word demos, D-E-M-O-S or D-E-M-O, demo, uh, means <clears throat> the people in a, in a democracy. This is why a, a demo simply means a mob. When you get a mob Absolutely. in the street, when you get a mob in the street, and they're turning over cars, setting fire to buildings, busting windows in businesses, and they're totally out of control, 
and the streets, and they're filled with alcohol and drugs and beer, and their and their their uh, their sports team lost, so they're turning cars over, oh, yeah. busting windows. Yeah, what doesn't and, matter? Yeah, you know, all the vagabonds just go out there for what doesn't matter. You're so right. Yeah, but I'm just saying, when you see a riot in a city. When there's helicopters out, with the lights on, the police are out, the military is out on the street, and there's a riot, we call that a demonstration. Demonstration, because they the demos is 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 showing you what they think, so it's called a demonstration by the democrats. So a democratic means mob rule. The rule of the mob. And so that's why the founding fathers and anybody who has more than a fourth grade education, which leaves out most of America. Right. But if you have an education, if you have gone to the school and learned how to read and think, then look up the word democracy. And it will tell you democracy is not the rule of the people. It's mob rule. When you get a mob of a thousand people in the street, we could say that that's the rule of the people. Yeah, but the people are busting windows and burning and oh, stealing no, these materials aren't people. and turning cars These on aren't people, Jordan. These are our scum. And what's worse is the scumbag in the White House, Obama, is so irresponsible. He hasn't even gone on... Freaking CNN know, but, but, to tell them anything to stop. I know, but my That's point keep going. is this: my point is this that you have to understand the etymology of the words. Yes, you've got to understand the etymology of words and terms and the symbols which are used. Uh, it's so overwhelmingly obvious. To anyone who has studied Marxist-Leninist communism and or Nazism, yes. National Socialist uh, German Workers' Party, Nazism, communism, or fascism under Mussolini. Or Catholicism. Any, or if, uh, the point I'm making is you've got to open your mind and go back to school and get an education and read and think. Yes. Because if you don't, know how a thing works, you're not going to fix it. And so the, the whole, the America has been operating for, my God, at least 150 years on the ignorance of the human family in America. Oh, the yeah. American people are, are the most ignorant, ill-informed, unread, backwards, dim-witted people on the face of the earth. Unfortunately. Period. Unfortunately. That's why these demagogues talk down to the American people like we're idiots. I mean, you see these people. Well, it's because we are idiots. Yeah. Wow. That's why they talk to us like the black with dumb. Because in their eyes, we are dogs. And the way we act in life is like a dog. And so what we're barking at each other and barking at cars and barking all the time and ranting and raving, <laughs> but nothing gets done. Yes. And the reason why is because knowledge is power, and the people have no power because they have no knowledge. In wow. the Bible, it says for you know that the the whole idea is wrapped up in the scripture in the Bible that says, "Where there is no vision, the people perish." Which means, where there is no vision, and the people will die. Well, that's what's happening. America has no vision. Why? Because you're in the dark. You can't see things in the dark. Like mushrooms. So, no. So, the <laughs> point I'm making, listen to the important point I'm making here. The country of America is in the dark. They do not understand where laws come from. They do not understand what courts are. They have no concept of what a bank is. They don't know what the police department is. They have no idea what the word sheriff means. They have no conceptual idea 
of political or sociological world movements. They have no understanding of ancient history. They have no understanding of the way the world has, has evolved and mutated to what it is today. They, the American people don't even know that what they're, most of them don't even know they're alive. Wow. So my point being is that if you don't understand the world you live in, if you don't know what the words mean, if you don't understand the symbols and the words and the terms that are being used by the secret societies, then you can't change anything. You're not going to change nothing. You're not going to help nothing. You're just a slave, and you might as well go drink your beer and go back to watch basketball, because you're finished. Absolutely. No, uh... What does sheriff mean? Right. We live next door to a sheriff. What, what does it mean? Say it again? What does the word sheriff mean? Oh, that goes back to the Arabic term. We can talk about words and terms that we use all the time, you know, and... <clears throat> and I've just got so many things I want to say about the world we live in. Right. Uh, but having said all of that, the reason why there's so much unrest today because of uh, because of um, uh, what's his face becoming president, Trump becoming president. That's right. The reason why here is the reason why you're having demonstrations in the streets is because. The United States of America has been in the hands, the political, sociological, media, television, radio, for many, many years, the United States has been in the hands of Marxist, Leninist, Soviet, communists. And because of that, the people have been kept ignorant, ill-informed, dim-witted, on drugs, alcohol, with their, with their ball games and all the other uh, things which keep your mind occupied so you don't have to read and you don't have to have an education. All you need to know is go do your job, drink the beer, and watch TV, and everything's going to be fine as long as you shut your mouth and stay out of the way. Right, just like they used to tell the the you know the, the kids back in the old days and say, just go play ball, uh, you know, the... Uh-huh. The big, the big adults are, you know, doing the research here, right? Well, that's what I'm saying. So the point I'm making, though, is very important, and that is that the people of America have no power to do anything because they're ignorant. Ignorant of all the problems we have in this country and around the world. If you enumerate all of the problems of wars and violence and drug addiction, alcoholism, rape and criminality and, and prison. It's just and, awful. Uh, all of it. I mean, we could go on for an hour just naming off each and every major problem. But I, I, think, there might, I think there might I think there might be hope with yeah. with Trump, believe it or not, because... Well, listen, let me finish. Go ahead. With all of this bullshit going on all over the world, the biggest single problem is human ignorance. That's the bottom line at the end of the day on the earth. Human stupidity and ignorance. <clears throat> Un- unread, ignorant, ill-informed, dim-witted, propagandized humans who have no, bot- have no way in the world of understanding the world they live in because they don't know where it's come from they have never been able to figure out how it evolved to get where it is today. They don't know the history of this country or the world. They don't know ancient history. They don't. The Americans have no idea of religious history, political history, <clears throat> banking history. They have no idea in America of anything but they, Paris they Hilton and, and drinking beer. So let me finish. All of this stuff is all because of human ignorance. And, and the schools are a blasphemy against God and man. I am amazed that uh, we have something called a school which is so filled with stupidity, ignorance, and planned stupidity. This is why today that millions of students coming out of, uh, of grammar school grade school, 
high school today have not they don't have the education to find their own country on a on a globe. They have no idea what uh, being alumni means. No. Nope. They have no idea. The people are so stupid, Jordan. I agree with you. They have no idea what's on their money. They have no idea what Anuit Coeptus means. It being a, our business is a success or a successful corporation, that being the United States, which to me makes perfect sense why they elected a businessman. No. No. I'm just saying that unless and until you are educating yourself to what words mean, right? what symbols mean, what the words and terms that are being used around the world, but Americans have no idea about none of it. And so uh, that's why America is in the mess it's in today, and that's why there are riots in the streets, because the people have been educated uh, to understand Marxist-Leninism, which teaches you, Marxist-Leninism teaches you that you don't need to think because you are, you are, in fact, a nobody to start with. You only exist in this world to serve the state, to serve the emperor, to serve the Caesar, Augustus. That's the only reason you were given birth. That's the only reason why you're being fed and being allowed to stay alive is because you serve your, your masters. You serve the state. And that's what the Soviet Union taught everyone under it, that you have no rights whatsoever. You have no uh, an individuality. You will do whatever the state says you will do. And if you don't like it, you will be uh, arrested and taken away and put a bullet in the back of your head and you're gone. Because nobody is going to be better than the state. The state will tell you everything you need. So the American point was, no, individuals have a right to think. Individuals have a right to be who they are and do what they want to do and be free. Well, the bottom line is that we have lost America. We've lost our, our base of economics. We've lost our schools. We've lost our generations. We've lost touch with reality. The only thing left now for us to lose is our minds. So that's why today there's so much drug abuse and alcoholism and violence in the street and, and young people and people acting crazy. Uh, it's just amazing how bad the, the public of America really is, how un, ungrateful, uncouth, ignorant, dim-witted, stupid, uh, are, are, you know, it just, uh, it's just it's amazing you. watching the breakdown of Western civilization. It's the breakdown of Western civilization because the people have no knowledge. They have no understanding of how anything works. How very, very true. We're speaking with Jordan Maxwell. You're listening to the Bruce Montalvo Show live. Uh, Jordan, why don't you tell the listening audience, we have a, a huge listening audience when you're on. I mean, just the most epic shows when you're on. Uh, why don't you tell them how they can help you out? Maybe give out your, your PayPal or um, your, let, us, let us know how they can find your Jordan Maxwell uh, Research Society. Yeah, well, I live on donations and, uh, because I don't have any income. And so if you go on my Jordan Maxwell show, that's my website. There's another website out there called jordanmaxwell.com. That is not mine. Don't go there. Don't go Don't there, people. Don't go there. That, that, that is not mine. Those are con artists there, folks. Yeah. So if you want to contact me and go to my website, it's jordanmaxwellshow.com. And when you go to jordanmaxwellshow.com, go to the button at the top, you will see it says uh, Research Society website, a research society. Click on that and join the Research Society. What that is, is a, another website. I have two websites, Jordan Maxwell Show, and from there you can go to the Jordan Maxwell Research Society website. What that is, is a whole different website that is filled with all of my work, all the documents and pictures 
and articles, audio, video, all the links to everything, all my research, everything's on the Jordan Maxwell Research Society website. So if you want to follow all of my work for over the years, just join. It's only $30 for a lifetime subscription. One-time wow. payment of $30 for a lifetime subscription to all of my work. I'm downloading everything from, as I said, pictures, documents, articles, links, people, all kinds of research materials that people have never heard of before, all kinds of extraordinary stuff of lies, deception, conspiratorial stuff that's been going on in this country and around the world. It's a lot of stuff there, and I've got a lot of stuff on its way. There's only so much you can do each 24 hours, but i got an enormous stuff on the, on the Research Society website now, and there's a lot more coming. I've got about a terabyte, that's a thousand gigs. Wow. That I'm getting ready to put on. That sounds incredible. So... It's an enormous website of all my research, and I'm not asking like most most other websites. When you're getting a newsletter or something, it's three or four hundred dollars a year, of of two hundred dollars a month, or something. Mine is thirty dollars one time, lifetime subscription to all of my research, all of my work that I've been doing for many many years. Incredible. So that's that. Now, having said that, there are other subjects that need to be discussed and that's where my real love is. I have no love for politics. I have no love for the modern day, what's going on in the earth today. I don't care about it. It may sound cold and crass, but I don't care about what's going on in America or in Russia or any place else on oh, the no, earth. No, not at all. If you break I, down the word, Jordan, if you break down politics, politicians is ticks. They're bloodsuckers. Yeah, and poly means many. That's right. So you got many bloodsuckers. How, how true. Yeah, I know. And they're, all, and they're all joke. full of shit. <laughs> it's, a bo it's a joke. And there'll be a lot of people say, oh, well, Jordan Maxwell said politics means a, a lot of ticks. No, I said it was a joke. <laughs> just like your country is. It's wow. a joke, just like your state government is. That's a joke. Oh, it's reality TV now. I mean, officially. Yeah. So anyway, uh, that's where we are. If you love Obama, then that means you love Marxist, Leninist, Ooh. Soviet, communism. And for all the Jews that might be listening, me, any and all Jews that might be listening, we're listening. Go back and go back, go back and read and watch what happened to the Jews in Russia. Yeah. And then get ready, because that's what's going to happen to you in America. Oh, yeah. Because America is the new Soviet Union. And that's why you have such an incredible backlash against Trump, because he's not a Soviet Marxist communist, and, uh, and he understands it. And that's, that's right. why the, the Marxist, Leninist, Soviet, communist, Dimwit morons in this oh, country are right. really pissed Idiots. because it doesn't look like they're going to get their free lunch and their free guns and their free this and free that. All of that stuff is over. The American people have just about oh, had enough. So. They don't. They don't want guns. They want to take those away. Yeah. Well, yeah. when they take when oh, when guns are outlawed, only outlaws will have the guns. So That's right. The point I'm making. But look at. Uh, I think I've talked enough now. I, mean, it's, it's, uh, I think I've uh, gone enough into politics just to tell you democracy is communism, Marxist, Leninist, people's democracy, the People's Democratic Republic of China. That's people's right. People's Democratic Republic of Cuba. People's Democratic Republic of North Korea. People's Democratic Republic. So when you hear Obama and all the other Marxist, Leninist, Soviet, Communist agents operating in America, when you hear um, uh, them talking about democracy, just understand they're talking about Marxist, Leninist, Soviet, Communism. Well, I tell you, Jordan, Obama ain't going to be talking about communism for long because he's he's going to get a, a boot in his ass pretty soon. Well, I don't. I'm not. I'm not endorsing. 
anything like that. All I'm right. saying is to educate the people to what the words mean. When you look at these symbols of uh, Hillary Clinton when she was running for president, she's using Marxist, Leninist, old world, old school Soviet terms and Soviet words and Soviet symbols. So if you'll just look at, at her, at her uh, symbols and emblems and, uh, and the flyers and all the, the, the stuff that she put out uh, in the world on newspapers and magazines, look at what symbols are around her. Listen to the words she uses. And go back to a dictionary if you can read and look up Soviet Marxist communism. And you will see she's using the old school, the way it used to be done in the Soviet Union. She's using all the same words and terms and symbols. And she even talked about uh, the, the need, uh, Hillary, and, I, and Obama wouldn't have been surprised if he didn't say it too, but uh, Hillary talked about the need for re-educational schools in America. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, re-educational schools is what happened in Soviet Union. So go back and to get a book and read about re-educational schools in the Soviet Union. What did that mean in the Soviet Union when you were sent to a re-educational school? Because that's what... Hillary has a mind for America to send everyone to a re-educational school. Understand what that word means. You think it's like a school. No, re-educational schools, look in the, look in the encyclopedia uh, on the Soviet communism or Chinese communism or Marxist-Leninism or Cuban communism where they talk about the re-educational school. And then you will finally understand what uh, Hillary is talking about when she uses the, 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 she uses the terms re-educational schools. Go back and read what the Soviet Union did with re-educational schools. Right. What they did is anyone who would not go along with the Soviet Marxist communist new world order, anyone in, in Russia who would not go along with it, Anyone in China who would not go along with Mao, anyone in, in Cuba who would not go along with Fidel, anyone in any country, in any communist country that would not go along with the, with the government, they were sent to re-educational schools. And those re-educational uh, schools, I've read for hours about the re-educational schools in communist countries where they would take you if you were a dissident, and they take you to toilets and let everyone else go to the toilet first, and then they would stick your head in it. Oh, my God. Stick your head down into and back and forth, back and forth, sticking your head into the toilet that everybody else has already used. And that was teaching you a lesson. And eventually you're going to gasp for breath with stuff all over your face, and you're going to give up. And when you give up, now you're going to be a good communist or we'll whip your ass. You want to go back into the toilet again and put your head back into the toilet? No. Then you say to us today that you are supporting the government and the new world order or your head goes back into the toilet. And if we don't do it quickly, we might cut your head off. That's a re-educational school. Go back and do some homework and find out who Hillary Clinton really is. Find out what, uh, what's really going on in Washington, D.C. You have no idea in the world how far gone America really is. So that's all I'm going to say. Go back and watch your television and drink your beer and watch the end of the world coming real goddamn soon on America because we have an ignorant, ill-informed, unread public who has the faintest idea in the world what the words really mean. So I've been looking at this stuff for 60 years, and that's my opinion. How true. I wouldn't know, I wouldn't know because I, I'm, just a, I'm just an ordinary man, but I'm not stupid. And for 60 years before you were born, for 60 years I have looked at this subject of Marxist-Leninism, 
Soviet communism, Nazism, National Socialist Workers' Party, fascism, Catholicism. I've been doing this kind of study all my life. So I know what's going on. I know how this tune is being played. But I also know that, unfortunately, the American people have no idea in the world what I'm talking about. Well, just sit around and watch. Just continue to drink your beer and love Obama and dance in the streets for Hillary. And one day, your ass is going to wake up and find out you have lost, period. No more freedom. No more liberties. No more justice. Now you're going to live under a Soviet Marxist Leninist communist state. And that's where we are today. That's where we are today. We are a full-blown Marxist Leninist Soviet communist state with gulags, with all kinds of prisons. It's an incredible story of the betrayal of a great nation. And the people of America have no idea in the world what I'm talking about. But just stick around and stay healthy, and you're going to find out what's coming down in America. You don't want to know. It's going to be horrible. Wow. Un unbelievable. Well, Jordan. It is going to be horrible. Wow. Yeah. So you know, just stick around and that's watch the, this That's the topic of politics that is so hideous, like a, a, a nightmare waiting to be unleashed upon America.